Hello, Junction Jaguars. It's Mrs. Nelson, and I would like to go ahead and teach you how to get on iReady. First, I'm going to go to our Google. Our Google um, menu bar right up here, I'm going to type in clever.com. And many of you can access this on your iPad and be going into clever.com as um, a student on the app. Um, but you must have the app if you're on the iPad. We're going to go ahead and we're going to log in as a student. If you are at home, you would want to bookmark this page because you're going to be coming back to it for your Google Classroom. You're going to be coming back to it for Benchmark e-readers. And you're going to be coming back for, for iReady. And you'll be wanting to practice iReady. So I'm going to log in as a student today. And I'm going to log in as one of my students. Right now I have a student logged in, but I'm going to log him out. And we're going to go under a new number. I'm going to log in to Google. Now some things have already been saved um, on here and your account might be saved on there, but I would like to show you how we're going to log in. Um, it might recognize your address, but it is your six digit number at rcsdkids.us. Next, after next, we need to put our password. If you're a TK student, it's going to be capital T. If you're a kindergarten student, it's going to be a zero. And if you are a first grade student, that's right. You guessed it. It's a one. If I want to see what I did, I can look at, oh, there's my zero. Ava is a kindergartner. So we're going to go into Ava's screen and we're going to go ahead and go to iReady. iReady is not up in her favorites. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find iReady. Oh, there it is. We're going to make it a favorite and I'm going to click on it. This will take us to an individualized instruction for her. Right now, if she wanted to choose a subject, she can choose reading. At this point, Ava still needs to finish her diagnostic test. So she would finish that, and then this program would go ahead and teach her the things that she needs to know. If she went to math, she's going to take the diagnostic test and finish it. And then this can go ahead and teach her what she needs to know in math. This is a great program that you can use at home 